So you're thinking about moving to Kansas City, but maybe you don't know much about Kansas City other than it's in Kansas, which it's not. Uh, well, in this video, I'm going to be going in depth on all the different areas of Kansas City, what it's like, what's the feel like, what are the people like in the different areas, and what the lifestyle is going to be. And we're going to get into it right after this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about living, eating, breathing, and having fun in Kansas City. If you want to get more information like that, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way, anytime I'm dropping these knowledge bombs, you're going to get notified. My name is Sean Van Horn. I'm a local realtor here in Kansas City. My number and email is below. I love working with relocating buyers. We've helped lots and lots of families relocate and move to Kansas City, and I'd be more than happy to help you with your dream home. Now, we're going to kind of go into all the different areas of Kansas City. Uh, I'm going to kind of go in depth on some things. I'm going to bring up some maps and really kind of show you the different areas and niches and lifestyles that you're going to have kind of based on where you want to be in Kansas City. This pretty much breaks down to three different categories. You have your uh, city category, your uh, suburban category, and your rural category. And each area is going to have a different feel, a different vibe, but you kind of want to narrow it down if you want to be more in the city, suburbs, or in the rural areas. And it's really kind of easy when you, when you look at the map of Kansas City. I mean, basically, the more center you are, the more city it is, the more you get to the outskirts, the more suburbs, suburbs. And then as you get further out, that's kind of when it gets into more of the rural areas, okay? So obviously, uh, when you're looking at the map, Kansas City, uh, the city is actually in Missouri. And, uh, you know, it kind of borders along the state line. And there's some parts of, you know, Kansas City that's on the Kansas side, of course. So when you're looking at the map and you're looking at, you know, downtown Kansas City, I'm going to kind of outline what I would call downtown Kansas City. All right. So uh, it's pretty much anything that's like west of 71 Highway. Uh, and then on the Missouri side, a little bit on the Kansas side, and then uh, it's going to be like from, you know, the river all the way down to uh, the plaza area. That was what I would consider, you know, downtown Kansas City. And within downtown Kansas City, you're going to have different areas, okay? So you're going to have the river market area. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of young professionals. It's going to be uh, a lot of condominium living. Uh, there's a lot of cool shopping and there's a, a city market obviously every week. Uh, it's very pet friendly. There's lots of parks and dog parks in the area, uh, but a tons of apartments and condominium type stuff. Uh, the streetcar starts in River Market, and then you're gonna have like little restaurants and shops. There's an antique store, uh, coffee shops, uh, you know, just little places like that, little bars, um, but it's kind of a quieter uh, part of downtown. It's kind of a small little neighborhood, uh, you know, kind of right on the river and known as River Market. Now, another part of River Market that I would kind of consider not so much the River Market is even north of that. And that's like literally right on the river. Uh, but right now the it's the riverfront and there's not a whole lot of housing in that area. It's mostly an apartment and a park and uh, there's a dog park bar, you know, kind of cool thing going on there, okay? Um, but you're pretty close, um, you're pretty tight in. Uh, the types of people you're gonna see, you know, obviously are gonna be, um, you know, younger, um, young professionals or, you know, people that are older. I mean, you're just gonna, you're not gonna see a whole lot of families uh, in the area. Uh, there still are families, of course, but it's just, it's just gonna be kind of few and far between. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of people that, you know, either they're downsizing and the, you know, empty nesters are getting the kids out of the house and they're ready to settle down. And that's gonna be kind of the, the vibe you're gonna get across downtown in a lot of different areas. Now, uh, if we go a little bit further south from there, we get into the Power and Light District. Uh, that's a really entertainment district. Uh, you're gonna obviously get a lot of younger people there too. Um, it's, you know, just a lot of bars and parties and entertainment and that kind of thing. And then you go south of there, uh, you get into the crossroads, which is kind of more of the artsy, 
area. There's some really cool art fairs going on and different little breweries, microbreweries and restaurants. And it's another kind of cool part of downtown. Um, and then kind of going from there, you can go, you know, in different directions. Uh, west of there is the west side, uh, which is kind of a quiet little quaint part of downtown. Uh, and it gets kind of right on the Kansas border. And then you go south of there and then you can get into like, you know, Southwest Traffic Way, which there's a lot of really awesome Mexican restaurants and bars. And there's a really cool neighborhood. The Roastery uh, is kind of right there at the huge airplane. And that's going to be kind of like what you're going to find there. So then there's a little area called Martini Corner, which is kind of like right off 31st Street, another kind of uh, entertainment district. And then you get to 39th Street. There's a whole nother uh, place. There's an awesome barbecue place called Q39, which is crazy, amazing, good. Uh, and then you get into Westport. And Westport's a whole nother entertainment district, uh, kind of more more of a local, you know, kind of spot to go. And it's not as, you know, fist pumping as power and light, but it's a little more laid back, uh, kind of more, more my vibe and my, you know, my wife and I's vibe. Uh, and then you go from there and you get down into like the country club plaza, which is kind of be more of your upscale shopping and restaurants and bars. Uh, and that kind of makes up the downtown. Um, it's kind of an interesting, you know, uh, wide variety. But when my wife and I were looking to buy a condo, that's the areas that we we're looking in. That's kind of the map and how we kind of drew it out for our realtor at the time when we were kind of looking at spots uh, to move downtown. And that's kind of the lifestyle we wanted. And obviously, and honestly, I mean, I think it could even work for a family as well, but you just have to know that it's a very hustle and bustle. And, um, you know, there's a lot of pets and dogs and, and animals downtown. Uh, so it's very friendly to that. There's a lot of dog parks and things to do like that. But, you know, you've got some really cool areas. I mean, you've got like Union Station and Crown Center and uh, the City Market and you've got, you know, just a lot, a, a wide variety of stuff to enjoy kind of being downtown and obviously all the events that are going on all the time. And uh, whenever those Chiefs from the Super Bowl again, it's nice to have a condo or something you can just look out the window and experience the whole parade and not have to kind of deal with the mess. So that's gonna be kind of your city living, right? All right, so now let's talk about suburbs. Um, gosh, I mean, it is, uh, Kansas City is sometimes known as Little Chicago because we uh, almost had as many suburbs as Chicago. And it's kind of a similar type of deal. So you're gonna have suburbs, uh, but you're gonna have suburbs like all around because we're not, you know, like on a, against a lake like Chicago, we're, you know, kind of right in the middle. And so, when you go south of Kansas City, uh, you're going to get into suburbs that um, on the Missouri side, you're going to get into like Waldo and then you're going to get into like South KC, which is like Hickman Mills, Kansas City Zoo is and a lot of historical type homes. Um, but the schools may not be like graded as highly, but that's going to be kind of the suburbs you're going to feel on the Missouri side. Now over on the Kansas side, it changes a lot. Um, you get into like Prairie Village, Mission Hills, the price points of these homes really go through the roof. Uh, <laughs> I mean, an older home that needs a lot of updates is still going to be like $600,000 kind of in that range um, when you kind of get over on that side. And then you get in down to Leewood, which is going to be kind of like more of your really affluent area. And then kind of going from there on the Kansas side, you're going to get into Overland Park where you have a lot of different suburbs and areas like you know, Shawnee Mission, Merriam, Olathe as far down as Olathe, and a lot of different places kind of in between on the Kansas side. Um, but then on the Missouri side, if you keep going south, you're going to get kind of more outside the suburbs and more into more of a rural type area situation when you get down to like Raymore and Peculiar and, um, you know, Belton's going to be still kind of a suburb type area. Raytown is another suburb that I think a lot of people are sleeping on. I think um, Raytown's kind of a cool up and coming area that uh, you can still find a really affordable home um, on the Missouri side, but that's going to be kind of your suburbs. And then if you go east, then you get into like, you know, um, which is kind of Raytown. Raytown's kind of more east. Uh, you get into like over by the stadiums where like Raytown is, and then you get into Independence, and then you go further out east into Blue Springs, Lee Summit, and that kind of area. Those are going to be kind of your, um, you know, kind of top-notch school areas and places to be kind of when you go in east. 
Uh, and then if you go further east, then you get it kind of more rural areas like Oak Grove and um, kind of further out east, you're getting more, you know, further away from the city and you're gonna get a little more space and it's gonna just be a different vibe. Now, when you go north, uh, it's pretty simple to know where the Northland is. You just look at the river and uh, you go north of the river on the Missouri side and you're in the Northland. Uh, it basically makes up two different counties. You have Platte County on the west side, Clay County on the east side. And uh, it's split right by 169 Highway, kind of splits the two counties. Now on the east side, you have Clay County, right? Uh, it starts in North Kansas City and then it kind of gets up into Gladstone. From Gladstone, it gets into Clay Como. From Clay Como, you get into Pleasant Valley. From Pleasant Valley, you can go up to Liberty. And then um, if you go a little bit further west, then you're kind of in the Kansas City area, but you're getting kind of more uh, into those, you know, higher price point houses towards Staley High School and that type of area. And then if you get a little bit further north of there, you're still kind of in the suburbs. You're kind of getting to Smithville and Kearney, but it, then it starts to get more rural as you get further from there into like, you know, Trimble and you get out to Excelsior Springs, which is kind of suburban rural areas, but you're kind of on that tip and that cusp when you kind of get into around, when you get outside that 435 loop is when you can kind of expect to be on a little more land or just kind of have more of a small town, rural type vibe, kind of when you get on the outskirts of that 435. So 435 is a good indicator when you're looking at the map to kind of show you uh, where you're at and the kind of, you know, different, different feels you're gonna get. Now, going west, uh, you have a whole different story, right? Because now you're on the Kansas side. Uh, you have Leavenworth, uh, which is a huge prison. <laughs> uh, uh, there's also a big military base. Uh, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, rural suburban areas down uh, up in Leavenworth. Uh, then you get on the Black County side, on the Missouri side, uh, you're getting into like Park Hill, uh, Parkville, which is a really nice uh, little town. And then north of Parkville gets on the, in the Kansas City area, but you're on the, you know, Platte County side. And then it gets into Platte City. Out further west, you get to like the Legends, where's the NASCAR uh, racetrack. The casinos are out there, or there's a casino out there. And then uh, lots of outlet shopping. Um, and then further west, you get to Toganoxy, and it definitely gets more rural as you get kind of further out there. But kind of, that's kind of how it's all lined up, you know. Um, going, you know, also just like going west, just within the city, you've got KCK. Inside KCK, you've got little neighborhoods like uh, Strawberry Hill, which is kind of a cool little quaint neighborhood. Um, and then, you know, within the city, going a little bit east on the Missouri side, you've got like Pendleton Heights and northeast. Uh, which is kind of like really close to downtown. It's kind of a historical up and coming neighborhood. Some people would consider it to be a little more higher crime, but you know, I would definitely, I mean, I would live there with my family um, in a heartbeat. I think it's completely getting revitalized and changing along that Troost um, street. You know, it's completely getting revitalized. There's a lot of new stuff going in. Um, it's really kind of amazing what the city's kind of doing to kind of bring it back to life and to really kind of break that racial divide that's been happening in Kansas City for so long. Um, we're kind of starting to see things kind of mixing and changing, uh, which is really, you know, awesome for the city. What is your lifestyle? Like, what do you want, you know? Are you uh, looking for really good schools, um, public schools? Then you're probably going to have to get outside of downtown. You're probably going to have to either go on the Kansas side um, and get into like Shawnee Mission School Districts or anything really on the Kansas side. But the taxes are going to be a little bit higher as well. Um, or if you want to stay on the Missouri side, then you're probably going to have to kind of venture into the Northland and kind of look at, you know, um, being in like Liberty or uh, North Kansas City School District, uh, or Park Hill School District. And even in the North Kansas City School District, some of the schools aren't rated as high as other schools. Um, so like once you get north of 152, then you're kind of like in that Staley High School, Liberty North High School, and um, you know, you kind of can get um, further west on the Platte County side, then you can get to Park Hill High School. And those schools are gonna be a little bit higher rated um, if you're looking for more of that suburban and, your, and schools are really important for you. Uh, or if you go out east, then you know, Lee Summit, Blue Springs are gonna be top-notch schools as well. 
but that's kind of what my recommendation would be uh, if schools are really important for you to have a good public school. Now, if you have the money and you want to go private, Pembroke Hill downtown is one of the highest rated uh, private schools in the nation. Um, a lot of people uh, that are very affluent take their kids there um, because, you know, that area is very old money. I mean, we're talking some of the best, biggest houses where, you know, some of the Kansas City Chiefs players live. Uh, celebrities have houses there. Um, and it's just kind of a really cool, um, just older part of town. And I'm kind of talking about like right... Uh, south of the country called Plaza or along the state line, that's going to be, you know, um, an area that if you have a lot of money and you want to pay for private schools and you want that lifestyle, you're going to see a lot of that stuff. And Loose Park is really, you know, right there and it's a really cool place to be. So that's kind of where the schools are and if schools are important. Now, if you want to like walk and um, if you want to be able to walk to work or you work from home, if you're young, if you want to have fun, then you got to be downtown. If you're a single person or just a young professional, then you really need to be downtown. Um, getting out in the suburbs is going to make it a little more difficult for you to socialize and kind of um, just really kind of relate to people. I mean, in my neighborhood right now, on our street, I mean, I think there's about 15 kids in our cul-de-sac between uh, five or six houses. It's just that vibe. It's that lifestyle that we're living up here. And I live over by Staley High School. Um, kind of up in the Northland area. So um, that's going to be like the vibe, you know, kind of if you're looking for that city. Now, you know, suburbs, um, depending on the area of town, uh, if you get into Overland Park, uh, the pricing is going to be a little bit higher. There's going to be a little more shopping, um, a little more, you know, Johnson County just has a different vibe to it and people kind of get coined as johnson county people <laughs> because i'm bougie <laughs> why because i'm bougie <laughs> just, you, you're getting a different feeling as you get into kind of different parts of town and that's what i'm here for i'm here to kind of explain to you guys you know what's your personality like what are you looking for um because you're gonna fit in uh different areas if you have a different type of personality you know um if you're laid back if you like have a family if you're looking for good schools and a quiet neighborhood and safety then i would say kind of live right where i'm living you know i mean i know the northland like the back of my hand and you know kind of being up here it's been um it's been nice. I feel like it's the 90s. The kids get to run up and down the streets on their bicycles and play with their friends. They don't have to worry too much about what's going on outside. Um, you know, as opposed to when we're in the city, uh, we couldn't just like let our kids like run up and down Independence Avenue. Uh, it's just kind of a different vibe. But, you know, we love going downtown. We go downtown all the time just because we miss it. And we just like to be down there. We like our kids to experience the culture and diversity. We like to, you know, we just like to be down there. And and you have to weigh your pros and cons. Like, like we would totally move downtown in a heartbeat and be back down there because for us, the pros way out way outweigh the cons. Like, like we're okay with going outside with our kids and walking down the street with them and kind of watching them a little bit closer and being downtown where there's busy streets. Uh, there's all kinds of riffraff or people maybe just walking around, but a lot of people are harmless. You know, it's just, you're just, it's a different, you just can't let your kid run down a city street uh, by themselves in a very urban type area. Um, but you know, that's the kind of stuff that you have to think about when you're thinking about moving to Kansas city, or do you want a lot more land and more of the rural experience, maybe get some chickens or something, then, you know, you're looking at kind of the further out, you know, out outlays of Kansas city. Now price points are going to be all over the place and I could pull up a map and kind of show you, uh, the average price point in Kansas city is $300,000. Now, when you look at active homes, uh, for $300,000 right now in Kansas city, um, you can see kind of what you get in different areas, like downtown 300 grand is going to look a lot different than like in the suburbs and then different parts of suburbs on the Kansas side versus Missouri side is going to be a lot different for 300 grand. And then out in the country, 300 grand is going to get you a lot more, um, and a lot different vibe, but with COVID and everything that's been going on, 
people are moving further out. They want more land. They want more space. They want space for their Peloton bikes. They want to be able to do Zoom calls in a home office. And they just want to be spread out and kind of away from people a little bit more privacy. And that's kind of what we're, what we're seeing. So, um, but anyways, uh, guys, um, again, if you have any questions, any concerns, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Anytime you get notified of more videos, I'm going to be dropping. And then also my phone number's below. I love working with relocating buyers. We can hop on a zoom call and, uh, talk about, you know, what you're looking for. I've got preferred lenders and we can kind of get you hooked up and set up. Cause I got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas city. All right. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.